بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you my students? I hope you're happy and healthy and ready for today's lesson which is the unit 4 TV around the world the second lesson the pair work page 49 but before we do that let's revise what we previously took at the beginning of the unit uh, if you remember uh, we asked these questions what kind of television program do you like to watch give some examples and if you can notice that the theme of this uh, unit is uh, revolving around uh, TV and uh, shows and TV series and etc and what we watch on TV also what kind of programs do you dislike and why so it's a matter of preference here which programs listed here uh, uh, would you watch which wouldn't you watch and explain and the picture here explains the popcorn and the remote control uh, meaning that you are sitting and enjoying your show while eating the popcorn the first show was named uh, jeopardy if you remember that comes at tuesday at 9 30 p.m it's a unique american quiz show that features trivia in history literature the arts culture science sports geography wordplay and more what's the meaning of the word quiz show what's the meaning of the word quiz you know it from your school at class of course yes it's a show that the host asks the uh, contestant some questions so quiz always revolves around questions and of course they win some awards maybe money the show is famous for its unusual answer and question format as i said the question format here which requires contestants to phrase their uh, responses in question form having been presented with clues and the uh, article goes on the second program named hoy if you remember comes at monday at uh, 9 a.m it says this morning show so it's a morning show the shows that uh, comes at morning they call it morning shows uh, sometimes they name the programs at the time that it's aired or uh, broadcasted uh, uh, th this morning show recorded live in front of an audience what's the meaning here of the word live when we say this show is live yes live means that it's now happening live means that it's now happening so what's the opposite of this idea live shows yes the recorded shows uh, is the opposite of live shows in front of an audience is broadcasted in the united states central and south america and parts of europe it's a, a team of uh, hosts of a family oriented because as we mentioned it's a family show entertainment on uh, a program the guest chef cooks up some uh, peruvian shrimp and prosperous businessman gives advice to members of the audience remember the word prosperous because we'll be talking about it later we took also the national geographic channel which is a well known channel uh, that gives you uh, documentaries about different uh, types of uh, documentaries featuring it it's focused on the wild life the national geographic channel is a television channel that features documentaries about science and technology animals and nature just as i said before exploration and culture produced by the national geographic society so it's a society it's bigger than just a station it's a society it provides authentic and inspiring content for different age groups of viewers the channel is dedicated to sharing factual knowledge and promoting genuine interest in our world in an uh, innovative and entertaining manner so it's sharing factual knowledge which means information and knowledge based on facts the uh, second the next program is csi for those who like crime C for la the police shows csi is short version or the acronym of crime scene investigation csi is an american crime drama about a team of forensic in the scientists who investigate mysterious and unusual deaths in tonight's episode grissom stokes and brown take on puzzling cases of jogger killed in a park so this is the whole theme of this 
a TV series, they, uh, some detectives, some forensic scientists try to solve uh, crimes, try to solve puzzles, and we knew that from our previous lesson. The next uh, show is Top Gear. Top Gear, of course, it's a well-known show revolving around uh, cars, uh, especially sports cars. Um, here it says it's aired at 9.30 9 p.m. on Wednesdays. Top Gear is an award-winning British television series about cars. It was originally launched as a conventional motoring magazine show. Since its launch in 2002, a new version has developed its own humorous style. That's correct. They, are, they have humorous style. While you watch the show, you get some laughs while you're watching the show. The program is estimated to have about 350 million viewers worldwide. So this is an extremely large number. The show has received acclaim for its style and presentation, as well as criticism for its content and some of the cutting comments by, made by presenters. It remains, however, one of the most popular motoring series worldwide. Next is Sasuke. From the name, you know that it's Japanese, of course. Uh, on Wednesday at p.m., this is a popular a Japanese sports entertainment program. It airs twice a year. Each ha is three-hour special covers, an entire competition in which 100 fighters and athletes compete in one of the most challenging physical contests imaginable. So it's, uh, it airs twice a year, and it's a physical challenging uh, uh, show. And we also took the language builder here. English speakers often use the term soap opera. If you have heard of this term, the soap opera, to refer to programs similar to tele telenovelas. One difference between the soap operas and the Latin American genre of the tele telenovela is that soap operas never end. This is a weird fact. Soap operas never end. The stories just evolve over the year. So ju they just keep coming with ideas. So the TV series never ends. Before we begin our lesson, let's take the workbook, page 113, and try to uh, answer some of these questions and solve some of these puzzles. Unscramble these words. Unscramble these words. The first one is already done for you. So we have some words, and the letters have been moved around, scrambled, and we have to figure out the correct word. The first one is already done for you. You have, uh, you can say it, the Z U Z L I G N P. So the correct word is puzzling, puzzling. So now you know how to answer this question. Okay, number one. A T B O R C S A D. So from the letters, can you tell which is the correct? Uh, uh, term here, it's related to television, uh, it's like the word air, the verb air, so can you tell which word is that? Okay, let's check the answer together, yes, it's the word broadcast, it's the word broadcast, and it's to spread the, uh, uh, the, uh, the video throughout the network, and also you can find it in your uh, chatting uh, applications, the word broadcast, it means to spread your what you have written to all of your contacts. Uh, the second one, number two, S-T-A-N-T-N-O-S-C-E-S-T. -S -S Again, S-T-A-N-T-N-O-C-E-S-T. -E so this is a little bit long. Can you figure out the correct word here? the person who goes into uh, a quiz show and try to answer the questions. Yes, he is a contestant, or contestants as plural, or contestants as plural. Number three, R-V-S-E-I-N-O. R-V-S-E-I-N-O. Can you tell the correct uh, word here? Yes, it's the word version, it's the word uh, version, you know the word version, it means not the copy, but the uh, uh, the latest, when you say the latest version, 
It means the latest, let's say, episode or the latest copy of this thing, the latest version. Uh, P-O-R-O-S-S-U-P-R-E. That's number four again. P-O-R-O-S-S-U-P-R-E. Can you tell what is this word here? Yes, prosperous. The word is prosperous, which is the synonym for uh, thriving, if you can say prosperous or thriving. It means doing well, doing well. Number five. D-A-R-W-A, D-A-R-W-A, which is a thing, I give you a hint for the word, uh, the thing that you win at the end of a quiz show or a contest. Yes, you figure it out right, it's the word award, award. It's the thing that you win uh, at the end of a quiz show. L-O-P-T, so this is an easy one actually, the story. Yes, it's the plot, the plot meaning the story. So moving on to the next exercise, exercise B in the workbook, right? The, uh, the words from exercise A above their synonyms. So the words that we just learned in exercise A, we'll be writing them with their synonym. And if you don't know the meaning of the word synonym, what's the meaning of the word synonym? It's a word or phrase that means exactly or nearly the same as another word or phrase in the same language. So in the same language, when two words have the same meaning or nearly the same meaning, this is a synonym. So let's continue with our exercise. The first one is already done for you. This is a confusing mystery. Confusing, the synonym for confusing is puzzling. So confusing, puzzle. You can say this is a puzzling mystery. So let's uh, begin with number one. They will air the TV show tomorrow night at 8. They will air the TV show tomorrow night at 8. And air here is a verb. So from exercise A, what's the uh, uh, synonym for the word air, a TV show? Yes, that's correct. It's the word broadcast. Number two. The story is about aliens that come to Earth. The story is about aliens that come to Earth. The, wor the word story here, what's the synonym for the word story from exercise A? If you remember the last word, yes, that's correct. Of course, it's plot. You can say the plot is about aliens that come to Earth. Number three, there are only two competitors left. There are only two competitors left. So there's a quiz show and there are only two left uh, competitors. So people who compete against each other, what do they call them? Yes, competitors or contestants. Excellent. I like the graphics variation of that computer game. I like the graphics variation of that computer game. So variation means something uh, different from the original. Yes, excellent, it's the word version. The winner gets a cash prize. When you win a contest, you get a prize. So what's synonym? The word ha that has the same meaning as the word prize from exercise A. Yes, excellent, it's the word award. So award means prize. There are, uh, there, uh, there are many wealthy people who work in the television industry. There are many wealthy people who work in the television industry industry so wealthy is the equivalent for the word uh, prosperous so pro pro uh, prosperous is the synonym for the word uh, wealthy continuing here with the lesson objectives discuss types of tv programs so types of tv programs what do you like tv pro there are many tv programs of course the types is it a quiz show is it a movie is it a, a, a drama series so we will be discussing that here, create your own idea of a TV program, decide on the kind of program and the title, then write a brief description of the program. So, create your own idea for a TV program. Is it a TV series? Is it uh, a quiz show? Is it a sports, uh, a sports comp uh, competing show like Sasuke, the Japanese show? Is it a family show? Is it maybe a cooking show? So, it's up to you. Uh, 
create your own idea for a TV program, decide on the kind of program and the title. And if you finish deciding what kind of pro uh, program is it, decide the name of the program. And remember to make it attract people to watch it, the name or the title of the program. Then write a brief description of the program. So once you write the title or the name of the, uh, of the program, you write a brief, not a long, a brief description of the uh, program. Does it have contestants? Does it have a show host? Uh, what genre, if it's, a, if it's a movie or a TV series, what genre is it? Is it action? Is it fiction or uh, something else and etc. cetera. Uh, so you have to ask yourself these questions. What kind of a program is it? Is it a comedy? Is it a crime show? Maybe it's a sports show, etc. So you have many ideas to choose from. Uh, is it, uh, if it's fictional, fictional means not real life story, what will the stories be about? So fictional uh, means you can open your imagination and write the story just as you like. You can make flying objects or whatever you like. Uh, who are the main characters? So decide the main characters and their characteristics and their features. Uh, what time should it air? What time should it air? Should it be a morning show or a late night show or in the afternoon? So you have to decide that to choose your audience. Who will the audience be? Are they children, teenagers, adults, families, etc.? Who are you? Who is your target? Who are you targeting? Are you targeting children, teenagers, adults, families? So you have to put that in your mind while creating your show. And here's a fun fact for you. The longest running soap opera in the US was a program called Guiding Light. It began as a radio program in 1937 and then became a TV program in 1952. The last episode was broadcast in September 2009. So it ran from 1937 to 2009 and that's a very long time. Another fun fact here, in Great Britain, a radio soap called The Archers of The Archers has been running six episodes a week since 1951 for a total of over 15,000 episodes. One actor, Norman Painting, has played the role of Phil Archer since the program began. Can you watch this TV series for, uh, of 15,000 episodes? It's up to you. And with that, we reach the end of this lesson. See you next lesson, inshallah. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu ala ala anta astaghfirka wa tubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum.